everyone. Good evening to our viewers. Welcome to the Evening Review Show. I'm your host, Matthias Alfico. Well, the Chiefs Assembly Technical Committee is busy pre uh, getting preparations underway for the Genocide Memorial Day. That's on the 28th of May, next week, uh, Tuesday, I believe. Correct. And we're joined in studio tonight by Mr. Vekonja Chigudu. Mm -hmm. He's a member of the Technical Committee. Good evening and welcome, sir. Good evening again, and thanks for having me. No, it's indeed always good to have you on the studio. Uh, maybe just a brief uh, introduction and summary as to what this day is all about, just for the benefit of the viewers. Now, thank you very much, and as I said, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, the, the 28th May was specifically earmarked, uh, selected among many other days, mm -hmm. because it has been felt, and, 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 and it is correctly so, that in a country where the first genocide of the 20th, of the 20th century took place, mm -hmm. there is no specific holiday or specific day assigned to remind the communities of the world and the Namibians that an, an event of that magnitude did take place here. So as, uh, the, those ones in the forefront have identified the 28th May among the many days. Yeah. So as a day where which we can recommend and request our government yeah. to identify as a Genocide Remembrance Day. Yeah. On this particular day, 116 day, years ago, uh, the prisoners in the, uh, in the concentration camps were released. Mm -hmm. And considering that the concentration camps were, in, were occupied by almost every, all, all the people from all nations, all races, mm -hmm. it was felt more encompassing and more inclusive, yeah. uh, unlike maybe those days which are sp speaking to specific communities. Yeah. So considering that, uh, that is how the day was identified. Mm -hmm. So Eva, how is it that uh, after such a long time, we, we still find ourselves, um, not per se battling, but uh, um, still find ourselves in the struggle where we are pushing for this day to be placed on officially on the, on the national calendar? No, I, th I think for the first, because initially, as it, it was explained in earlier conversations, mm -hmm. Before independence, there was no platform where yeah. we as a group of, of people could express ourselves. Yeah. It, it just came around, maybe just before, you know, before independence, and as we mm -hmm. got our independence, that we became, became more vocal about the yeah. whole event. But the first 20 years or so, over the last 20 years since 2004, that is where, when I, I got involved in the whole struggle, mm -hmm. and in the whole movement of uh, our reparation, mm -hmm. we were focusing more on awareness creation, both inside, among our communities, within the country, mm -hmm. abroad in the diaspora, and there was more in fight in terms of getting the message across to our government, to the Germans, to the world. Yeah. Uh, but it was not until Honorable Mambera introduced the motion in Parliament mm -hmm. that uh, at least this issue of a genocide remembrance day or a genocide memorial museum mm -hmm. was uh, okay, came to the fore. Yeah. Uh, and uh, even after that, considering all the processes which have to be done, mm -hmm. parliamentary processes which have to be carried out. Uh, it was now that we have re realized that all the procedures have been followed and we want to know what is holding up because the 28th, uh, we were informed, was adopted mm -hmm. by parliament, consultations were done in, throughout the country and, and then we started, let us start remembering this day on our own yeah. uh, while we are still talking to our government so that at least uh, that uh, we can create that awareness among our people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember this motion was stable, if I'm not wrong, on uh, 16 June 2016. 2016, yeah. So next month, the 16th, that's, that'll be eight years. And, and we say this day is so significant. Um, well, what does, do you think it waters it down in any way, the fact that uh, we can't seem to get this, get over the line as far as this is concerned? 
It's very, it's very unfortunate that it has to take, all these processes are, has to take this long, but one will no, no, not tire up. We will not get tired to, to fight for the right thing. Mm -hmm. um, the initial stages after, as you might know, putting in a motion in parliament, being debated, and then parliamentary standing committees going around mm -hmm. in the communities took some time. But it, 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 it was what was difficult for us to understand or to grasp is the whole issue of after the cabinet, uh, the, the parliament has yeah. now adopted the, the motion, what is holding up. And, and through our inquiries, we were also informed there was other, other groups which also proposed another day. Mm -hmm. But it did not go through the same process. Yeah. So I think, think what we are saying is our government should should just concentrate on those processes, on the dates which have followed all the procedures and which have uh, taken the due, due process of, 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 yeah. of law. Mm -hmm. And if, if you are saying that uh, you, you understand that some groups have also proposed um, dates which they prefer, um, in terms of, of the date that you have now chosen, um, 28 May, mm -hmm. which communities are involved here? No, all, all, com all communities are involved. So who are those that uh, wanted they to are, dates? All, all the communities are involved, but there are groups within all those communities. Yeah. Uh, so not everybody is in, say for instance, I'm here representing the chief assembly. Yeah. And not everybody is on board yet with the chief assembly. Mm -hmm. There are other groups which are also fighting for the same cause, uh, waging their own movement in terms of the reparation uh, exercise. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are not as yet at, on the same boat, but that we are all moving in the same direction. That is the unfortunate situation which we have. Mm -hmm. So what we at, as, a, as members of the chief assembly or the chiefs in the assembly yeah. are, pro are supporting is the motion which is already in, in parliament, mm -hmm. uh, we, which is just awaiting maybe a setting. Yeah. But others are having other ideas. So, and then and that is what, Earlier on, you we, we did discuss uh, about what what is holding up. Yeah, uh, government will, will say as long as they first of all want everybody to to be to okay. agree on the same date, yeah. and then and they have no problem. Mm -hmm. And that is that is the latest was His Excellency have indicated even to the chiefs of the assembly. Yeah, that um, if there is nobody who is opposing it, mm -hmm. the government does not have a problem. Yeah. Because it reminds me of uh, of the genocide negotiations, where everyone says we are fighting for a common goal, but everyone wants to get there through different means. Um, would you say it, it sort sorts of uh, hold back or dilutes the process? Not, not it, it uh, delays the process. It, yeah. it, it it does dilute and it gives a, a good excuse, especially to the people you you are fighting for, uh, mm -hmm. fighting against. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's just like any other struggle. Yeah. We had our liberation struggle and we, we were fighting from different fronts, although we were fighting the same enemy and for the same cause, but we fought it from the same fronts. But as long as the arrows are f facing the, 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 in the same direction, mm -hmm. I think ultimately we are going to come around. Yeah. Um, but um, it's not a unique situation. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it, it is happening in any struggle. Yeah. Uh, maybe what, what is your explanations to to those who would say, but we already have so many uh, uh, public holidays and, and remembrance days and so on. What, what is your message to those who hold such view? I can, I, I can just say that they, we have so many holidays because we have so many important days to remember. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we have many holidays does not make the, the other uh, events less significant. Yeah. Um, all what we are going to say as Namibians, and, and that is very indicative for any people who have gone through the struggle as we did. Mm -hmm. Those many holidays should be and must be expected because we went through a lot and we really want, don't want to forget. The holidays are not just for people to rest. Mm -hmm. It's to revoke that spirit, to remind our, our communities what we went through. Mm -hmm. And the genocide as one of the earliest events 
yeah. important events in our history cannot be left out. Yeah. Um, so we only have to, to understand where we are coming from and understand why we are having need these holidays so that we can accept yeah. the realities on the, which we are facing. Mm -hmm. um, there's been so many historic moments that needs to be to be recorded and and uh, and uh, commemorated um, would you say as as modern namibia we, we are doing enough to ensure that that history is, is preserved and passed and, and the lessons of those history are passed on to to the future and the current and future generations i think we need to do more mm -hmm. we, we need to do, we have to do more and we need to do more the unfortunate situation is as we are moving and the elders are passing on mm -hmm. The young, the youth and the young are not following in the footsteps. Mm -hmm. You see, we are where we are now because we followed our forebearers. Yeah. Uh, and we have, have tried from the days of the struggle up to where we are to listen and to learn so that at least we can take over. The unfortunate situation is our youth are not following and they are not up to date with, with the, the events which have, have passed. And therefore, it is very important, like what we are going to be, be having during, for, in preparation, for, what we are doing for, in preparation for the 28th is we also have exhibitions, mm -hmm. which we are, we are coming when we come to the program. Yeah. Uh, we have statements and we, we have cultural and, uh, events and so on. Mm -hmm. But we also have events which we want the youth to participate. Yeah. Even in panel discussions, we have given them some some of the topics which we want them to come and which they we want them to prepare and come and debate about yeah. so that they can, can get uh, to, to evoke their interest in the, this struggle. Mm -hmm. But we, we have a long way to go yeah. and, we, and, and it is the more reason why we need to commemorate and to remember these days so that at least the youth uh, can also be be involved yeah. in, the, in, in the whole process. Mm -hmm. So w what do you think l drives this lack of, I don't want to call it lack of interest, but, but uh, the, the absence of the youth as far as our historical, uh, um, our historical perspectives are concerned? <laughs> I, I would not uh, want to speculate, but uh, there is, I, I think the more reason is these people were born and grew up in a very peaceful environment. Mm -hmm. Most of the things which we are talking about, because we lived it, yeah. uh, we because we all, we, went, we lived through a difficult period of apartheid, mm -hmm. and we had to learn from our elders yeah. where they also came from. Mm -hmm. We were more interested in into what happened, yeah. considering that they were born in a free Namibia, and most of, in a very peaceful environment. They are seeing that one as. Those are your things. We yeah. have our own, mm -hmm. but we cannot leave them behind. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, the founding father once said, a, 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 a nation without a culture yeah. uh, is like a tree without the roots. Yeah. So we have to go down, make sure that at least we, bring, we carry them along. We yeah. cannot leave them. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Stigul, we head for a short break and we'll be back to continue our conversation. Thank you very much. Also, our viewers, we head for a short break. Stay tuned. Connection. It's in the human touch, the feeling of belonging. It inspires us and empowers us, creates clarity from complexity. It starts new conversations, unlocks the power of advice, and makes an impact on your life. At Alex Forbes, we pioneer insight to provide you with advice that connects your decisions of today to your impact tomorrow. Welcome back from the commercial break. Uh, Mr. Chikudu, um, 28 May, just a few days away. And um, what are some of the 
activities and festivities that are lined up um, that uh, the members of the public and those in attendance can expect? Yeah, uh, we considering that the 28th is falling on a Tuesday yes. during the week, we decided at least let us start our activities, the build up yes. a little bit earlier. And uh, earlier on, our program was supposed to start from Sunday, Monday mm -hmm. into Tuesday. Yeah. But then uh, we also realized that 25th is Africa Day. Yes. And uh, from information we have, Africa has also dedicated 2025 for African reparations. Mm -hmm. for, uh, so we will want to also have an activity, special activity, uh, in, remember, in recognizing of the Africa Day, but more so in creating more awareness or informing our, our communities better about the whole struggle of, or the whole movement of reparation movement. Yeah. Uh, and that is also as a, as a build up into mm -hmm. the Sunday, Saturday, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday activities. Yeah. So that is one. There is going to be like a public rally. We are going to, to in, invite everybody, all Namibians mm -hmm. who want to, who are interested and who want to listen to the liberal reparation movement and the whole issue of genocide together at UN Plaza on Saturday, uh, on Saturday the 25th, uh, around two o'clock, we are going to recall, remember, celebrate the Africa Day. And in, in, the, in the process, we're also going to inform them about the whole uh, genocide and its reparation. Mm -hmm. on, in, in, on Sunday, we are going to start with a cult, uh, cultural activities, uh, where we are also going to have activities involving the youth. Uh, in the evening, we are also going to continue with the, those church services. We have also invited the church communities. Uh, that will lead into the Monday. Monday, we will start early in the morning by uh, also, also carrying out some of the activities in terms of cultural activities. And that is when we start with some of the statements coming from uh, people's solidarity messages, people who are bringing solidarity to our movement. And that will also lead into the evening with two type of panel discussions. One, around, in, around two o'clock, we are going to have a, a panel discussion of, of learners, of students, mm -hmm. uh, especially from the, the institutions of higher learning, mm -hmm. who are going to be given topics on, on the genocide, yeah. and they are going to debate among themselves with panelists and moderator. In the evening, we are going to have, have what we are referring to as a high-level uh, panel, Mm -hmm. where we have invited some experts who are going to discuss specific issues on the genocide and mm -hmm. its reparation, but more so with proper emphasis on the importance of a Remembrance Day, mm -hmm. a Genocide Remembrance Day in a country unlike ours. Mm -hmm. And that will lead into the Tuesday, where we are going to start with march marching from the UN Plaza to the Independence Memorial Museum, uh, people walking and horses and and troops mm -hmm. and, and they are going to have two or three statements which are going to be given at the Independence Memorial Museum. Yeah. And that will conclude the, the whole exercise. Yeah. And you, you did mention that uh, Africa has uh, dedicated this year's commemoration to the reparations on, 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 the, on the face of the continent. Um, mm. How profound is it? considering where we are as Namibia, as far as our reparation uh, fight is concerned with Germany? I, I think it's, it's a profound issue because it's not only going to talk about Africa as a continent, yeah. but all people of African descent, even those ones in the, in the islands, and, and we, went to, we were taken as slaves. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they are having their own fight as, as former slaves. And we are all speaking to the former colonizers about reparation for the damages which were caused. Um, so I, I think it's a profound statement from, a, from the African Union. And, but I think what we are hoping, mm 
is that the Namibian case will be one of such cases which they have they are going to use mm -hmm. uh, as a model in terms of one. Uh, for one, at least we are all, we have gone, we are working very close with our government yeah. uh, in terms of the whole process, the motion in parliament, and and we are and the government also involving traditional leaders mm -hmm. in the whole struggle. Uh, we do have our differences, but those are some of the things which we have to learn from other people how we can overcome them. Mm -hmm. But we, we think it is a very profound move, move from the African Union and it will also give us more courage. Yeah. Because in the long run, just like South Africa did with uh, the, uh, the mm -hmm. issue of the Palestinians, yeah. if there is an injustice in the world which is happening, we cannot sit down and fold our hands. Mm -hmm. Someone will have to wake up and this time Africa, African leaders and African countries want to put their hands, their heads together mm -hmm. so that they can, they, can, they can move in the same direction as we are confronting colonialism and re requesting reparation for yeah. the injustices that to our people. Mm -hmm. and w would you say it's something that comes timelessly or, or rather <laughs> too little too late? It's better late than never. Yeah, but it's late. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Though late, but it, at least it is here. Yeah. Uh, what we can do with it is to make the best out of it. Uh, see how best we, we can. Well, how we take advantage of its availability. Use those platforms to push our agenda forward. Yeah. It's better late than than never. Mm -hmm. yeah, just as we do, as we are drawing to the end, um, um, the the genocide, the Remembrance Day mm -hmm. itself, um, the the delay. Um, what do you think it does to, to those affected communities and the descendants? What, what do you think it does to them? You mean the delay in, oh, in, in, in the gazetting, in, 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 oh, in, in terms this, of the yeah, remembrance? Yes, that, in putting this uh, matter to bed. No, I, I, th I think it, it, it is affecting because once we have that, and it will also put a platform where we, as a government, as a people in Namibia, we can address, the, the, on that particular day, we can address the whole genocide and its reparation mm -hmm. uh, at a national level. Mm -hmm. So the, a delay in cassetting or in promulgating this in law uh, is, is also putting, holding us back in terms of creating that necessary momentum mm -hmm. uh, so that we can, we can push the, the whole process of negotiations and reparations uh, to, to his conclusion and people start making uh, taking advantage of whatever come out of that in that reparation package and people start making and uh, making a living yeah because ultimately when we are talking about a reparation is at least to to replace to, to do to repair those things which as they were mm -hmm. we want these things to come be concluded so that it, people can start taking advantage of those opportunities and start moving on and improve their li livelihoods. Yeah. Um, just lastly, perhaps, what is, what is your exit message to all the interested parties and stakeholders as far as uh, working in unison is concerned and just holding hands to, Not in that, this process? No, I, I think holding hands is, 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 is a, a key requirement for us to move forward in, mm -hmm. in this whole movement. And that, that is one of the aspects, as we were, when we are discussing among ourselves, and, and we have put it even to the table of, um, of His Excellency mm -hmm. in the, in, during the last statement, where we are calling for a national consultative conference, yes. which involves everybody, everybody who feels that they have been wronged or they, they have been affected mm -hmm. by the German by the genocide activities or atrocities should come in. Let us all come in, in the same room. Yeah. You can put your case and it can be put to test whether it qualified to be genocide or not. Yeah. It's not for us. And once we agree, all of us, mm -hmm. what are the things which we can put in one document as a group, as Namibians, which we can present yeah. to the Germans mm -hmm. as a group of Namibians, I think that then we are going to move forward. Yes. So moving in unison is something which cannot be mm -hmm. uh, 
negotiated. Uh, negotiated. Yeah. We have to. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. Mr. Gubu, thank you very much for your time this evening, and we wish you well for your work ahead and the program that lies ahead next week. Thank you very much, and thanks for having me. Thank you very much. Well, to our viewers from the Evening Review team, see you again tomorrow, same time, same place. Have a pleasant evening. Thank <laughs> you.